lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see Welcome back to another podcast I thought it was about time that we addressed this crystal, the crystal issues with this girl at the gym so I'm just trying to load my computer so I can actually get on to Instagram. But anyways, I want to talk about the crystal stuff because I know it was a couple of days ago and we've had other stuff like the Alice and stuff that we we're talking about. Ugh, the picture of the butt plug just popped up on my screen because it's one of the last things that I've posted. Ugh. I know. I'll, oh. There's heaps of stuff I'm sure I've forgotten about Alison because like that butt plug thing, I had completely wiped that from my memory and so when someone mentioned it I was like I like you I nearly had a stroke like I was just like oh my god that was so bad and then even this morning I was not ready actually someone sent it to me this morning before I posted it and I was just having my breakfast and like I opened my inbox and I was like fucking great <laughs> ew all right so I'm going to go through, I'm just going to use the, um, the manual.junior page. So this is one of Crystal's exposing pages, which is um, manual, is it manual or manuel.junior? I don't know. But if you want to know, um, just ask me and I can send you their, their tag. Um, but I just thought I'll just use their page because I feel like it's a little bit easier than going throughout all the crap on my page. Anyways, so the other day she posted this stuff like stuff on her stories and she was talking about like um like her body fat and like her bmi and stuff and she was obviously clearly upset because she had gone i'll message them for you if you like and i can vouch for you so she'd gone to the gym it was like a new gym i think she said and she decided to go because they had like a different machine that she wanted to try out and like her friends went to this gym. I'll find, this is the first video. So I'll play the first video so you can listen to her explain it. Like down the road and two of my friends started going there and it's fairly cheap and it also has like teen a hydro massage. They have a sauna too and newer machines. And they have one machine that I really wanted to start using like the, the hip thrust machine, which my gym does not have. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. I signed up. I was excited to like be able to tan because they have a childcare there for Archer so I could actually tan and it would be included in my gym membership. Rather now you guys in America know that this shit is like killing you, right? Like I am so surprised how many people still use tanning beds, like knowing how much worse they are for your skin than anything else. Like we in Australia, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Australia, tanning beds are actually completely banned. Like, they don't have them anymore. That's how bad. And, like, and like that's for Australia. Like, our sun is bad on its own. Our sun is bad. So, for them to, like, to um, ban a tanning bed, that has to show how bad it is for you. But it's just crazy to me that people still do it. It'd be like being 16 and still picking up smoking, knowing how bad it is for you, that it kills people and stuff. I don't know. But there's, I was, I've been surprised by how many people, even on the page, still talk about how they go tanning and stuff. It's wild. Rather than me having to pay for tanning separately. So I go there today and when you initially start up with a gym, they do like a fitness assessment. So I sit down to do this assessment and she asks like a few quick questions, but it's mostly like age, I'm pregnant, not if I've had prior pregnancies, just if I'm pregnant, yes, no. Now. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys have ever had this test done before, but basically, you know, when you go to a gym, they want to check, like, your BMI. It's the same if you go to a di dietitian. Um, and these machines, like, they send, like, that current or whatever it is through your body, and they can work out, like, how much muscle mass you have, um, you know, how much fat's in your body, like, your bone density and things like that. So it's just to work out. And this is, like, um, like I know BMIs are never accurate are never accurate sorry because obviously you know people have different amounts of like muscle and stuff like that so these machines are a lot more accurate because they're not just taking into account 
like your weight and your height, they're taking into account like your muscle mass, your bone density and things like that. So like um, when you go to a gym and you sign up, they'll usually do this and just see where your starting point is. And she's obviously started this gym and she wants to see her starting point. Now, obviously it matters if you are pregnant. It doesn't matter that you've had babies. Like I understand that when you've had babies, you know, obviously your metabolism slows down a little bit, you know, you've got hips um, and like your, your body makes a lot of changes, okay? But it doesn't matter how many kids you have because at the end of the day, you know, it's still, there is still a healthy weight range for your body. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I understand. Like, you know, we all use an excuse. It's not really an excuse because, yep, you know, everything slows down. It is harder to lose weight and to get back in shape after you've had a baby. But that doesn't change your BMI. It's not like, okay, well, my BMI is this, but I've had four kids. So we're going to take like a point off for each child. It doesn't matter like that. There is still an ideal healthy weight range. And you've got to keep in mind as well that these health, like these height versus weight ranges, they're actually quite there's quite a lot of difference. Like I think for my height and my weight, I can be anywhere between 50 to 70 kilos. I think it's 55 to 70 kilos. That's like a huge, there's like 15 kilos difference in there. So obviously when I'm younger, I'm probably going to sit at like the 55 kilo range because that's makes sense for that age. And then as you get older, like you have kids and stuff, it's a little bit hard to keep that weight off. So you're at a higher range. Now, I understand like when you have breast implants and stuff like that, yes, if you are doing like a, um, a BMI based off just your height and your weight, then, um, you know, breast implants are going to make a difference because obviously like she's probably got like two kilos in each tip there, <laughs> let's be honest. Like there's probably like eight pounds there worth of breast. But when you do those machines where you hold it out like you know they're like a little motorbike bar looking thing like a handlebar and you hold it there and it um it like runs through your body and and it's a more accurate so like even myself like I am I have like a lot more muscle on my body than what most women do like I'm in a higher range um and I think it's because of my dad like my dad is like quite built so when I go and do BMI, sometimes I'm over with my BMI when I do like the height versus weight. But then when I go to the dietitian and I do the handlebar one, it's telling me I'm in a normal, healthy weight range. And that's purely because obviously muscle weighs more than what fat does. And, you know, I dated a bodybuilder and he would go to the doctors and like he'd have his jump wrong. So I remember he had to do a medical exam once um, before he started a job. I can't remember what it was at, but he had to do, they did like those fitness exams and the woman wrote him down as obese. And like this guy was like 4% body fat. It was like 120 kilos was like, I don't know, 240 pounds or something. And he, just, he was just pure muscle. There was no fat on him. And so like they had to obviously accommodate for that because back then they didn't really have those machines in the doctor's surgery. So um, they would do like the pinch test where they literally hold a bit of your fat out and they do it like they measure the they pinch it and measure around it and that gives you more accurate reading so I mean this was years and years and years ago so that reading that she's giving is quite accurate and I understand like you know we look at Crystal and she's like oh you know where but she's you know what she's relatively short I'm not saying Crystal is overweight but she is a little bit you know wider these days like when she's having the kids I'm not saying fat at all do not get me wrong but I feel like what happened here, it was more of Crystal's hurt feelings. Like, why go in there and they give you results and then argue it? Like, if you already know the truth, if you know that you're healthy and just a little bit more curvy, why are you fucking arguing it? Like, this girl's gone in there, she's trained. Hey, she's trained to do what she's meant to do. Like, you know, they take their results from the computer, um, from that thing that measures it. Like, this isn't just a BMI test. This is actually like a whole flow they check everything. So they know like, um, I think I have one here from my, my dietitian. Actually, no, I don't think I do. I think I filed it. But, you know, it, it'll actually show you like everything. It'll show your muscle mass, how much water is in your muscle at that time. Like if you're, how hydrated you are and things like that. Like it counts as everything. Her boobs are definitely a lot of her weight. But like that woman said, the boobs don't, mean anything in this test because this test is literally ran by 
you know, goes through like your water, your fat ratio and stuff like that. So breast implants being silicon or water, it would just count as her water. So she'd show as a little bit more hydrated, like on those tests, because it's like a, it would probably measure it as water is what I believe. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I don't know how those machines completely work, but I do understand how they work out, like the fat ratio and things like that. And it's not really a big deal. Like where she's showing it, like even if you look at your BMI, if you take like one kilo off of your BMI, like if, if you weighed yourself and you took even, and you were like at an overweight and you took one kilo off, it usually will like slot you down the scale a hell of a lot. Like she could probably take a shit and she'd be back in the normal range. Like it's not that big of a deal. But I think because this is Crystal and, you know, she's always got to have that validation and everything. And I think in her mind, she thought, oh, I'm going to go in there and this woman's going to be like, oh, you look good. And I know this is the case. And I said this the other day and she even did a video on here and she's talking about it and she's like, oh, you know, she wasn't like, oh, you look good for four kids. Well, blah, blah. that's not that woman's job. That woman's job is not to fucking blow smoke up your asshole. Her job is to just show you the facts and like help you out. And then, you know, Crystal's like, oh, she was like, what do you want from me? Now, of course, that woman's going to be like, what do you want from me? I don't think it came out like that. I think Crystal's just being in, like a sensitive Crystal. Like, you know, we've seen <laughs> this is what Crystal's like all the time. But I think that girl would have been like, well, what do you want from me? Like, what do you want to get out of your time with me? You know, when you go to the gym and you sign up for a personal trainer and that personal trainer is trying to give you info and she's like, oh, yeah, but I've had four kids and, like, you know, I'm curvy and I've got these breast implants. They're like, we don't give a fuck. Like, what do you want from me? What do you want me to do? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to gain muscle? Like, that's what how it probably would have went down. And Crystal's just been like, oh, like, because, I mean, we see it happen all the time with her. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to be picking on her for, ha like, insecurities or anything like that. But I think what she thought was when she went in there, she was going to give all these compliments. And what Crystal doesn't realize, like, you've got, like, a fitness freak chick that's setting it up. That she doesn't care how many kids you've had. She just wants to see what results she wants. She's going to help you get there. And Crystal thought she was just going to go in there and this girl would be like, oh, you're perfect. Like, I can't believe you had four kids. Like, you're amazing, you know. And it just didn't go down like that. Anyway, I'll keep playing it. And then asked if I have any health conditions, which no, 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 have no health conditions. Um. Obviously, this person's going to ask, you know, do you have any health conditions and whatever? Because Crystal's saying she works out, she eats healthy, she does this, she does that. Um, and so they've got to try and work out why maybe she might be slightly over in that BMI. It's not like it was showing her as like super obese or anything. Um, and I understand like her app you know, obviously it's going to show her as overweight because it just goes by, you know, height and weight. Um, but, you know, with those machines, it doesn't work that way. Like they measure it fairly precisely. They're not perfect, but they're fairly precise. She said, do you have anything? Uh, no health conditions except for those that she self-diagnosed herself with. Yeah. Why wouldn't she just go to an actual doctor? I wouldn't listen to someone from a gym anyway. I get she wanted to be a trainer. She wanted to be a trainer, but still. Yeah, I mean, if she's that concerned, definitely go to your doctor and talk to your doctor about it. I mean, at the end of the day, this girl is, um, you know, she's a personal trainer. They're into fitness. Like, she probably does competitions and things like that. Most of those trainers do do, um, like, physique contests and stuff like that. So she's probably looking at it from... A perspective like you know a doctor is going to give you a certain range and be like no no that's fine don't worry about it someone that's into fitness they're going to give you this is what you want to do for optimum results and then you've got this person that's here it's like when like I don't know if you've ever had friends and maybe you do it yourself like I know I've done it before like when COVID came around this girl gained a bit of weight because she was just like mm, snacks 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 can't go anywhere snacks like I just ate 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 Someone just said, random message be, question for your accent reminded me to ask you if you watch Wentworth. I haven't watched it, but everybody says that to me. So I'm guessing there's someone on there with an Australian accent and I need to watch it. Because uh, everyone's like, oh, I watch Wentworth and I love it. Like, what is that? But yeah, I worked out as a TV show, but that's about it. From a trainer's perspective, I feel like they're trying to give you like those optimal results where it's about physique, you know, whereas a doctor's going to look at you and be like, no, no, you're fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, you don't have heart issues you don't have kidney issues or like fatty liver or anything it's okay but like this girl is here because 
um, you know, she's a, she's a trainer, like she's a professional in that sort of environment. Bodybuilders and physique, yeah. Yeah, munching snack. Like, I tell you what, i been eating a lot of snacks. I had to go through, I was trying to like trim up the Allison thing and there was like lots of parts I had to cut out because you can literally hear me opening up chocolates. And like, you are so used to it now, nobody says anything. And then I listen back, I'm like, oh my God. Like, you can tell when I have like a mouthful of chocolate and I'm just talking through it. It's so bad. Mm. That could restrict you from exercising. I said no. So then she has me get on the scale and then she has me do the handheld body fat reader, which I know that because I've had prior done before that you're supposed to do standing up. I did it sitting down and I even adjusted my grip during it because I realized I wasn't completely on the silver. Now, obviously, you're not supposed to adjust your grip on it. Um, and, I mean, people do it sitting down as well, so I don't know. I've, I've seen machines where you're able to do it sitting down, but most of them you do it standing up. My dietitian, the one that is standing up, I've been to ones at the gym before where you don't have to stand up, though. As long as you're sitting on, like, a still flat surface, it's okay. But, I mean, if you've done it before... Why are you adjusting your grip and stuff? Like, is this an excuse afterwards? Like, why are you adjusting your grip? If you're so concerned, wouldn't you say, look, I'm sorry, I moved. Are you able to take that reading again? Because I, I'm not sure that it's going to be accurate, you know? Like, you got Crystal like, oh, I don't like confrontation. Girl, you fucking love confrontation. You just don't like to actually say it to people's faces. She just likes to, like, post it on a story and have everybody else go after the people. She takes the reading and then... She circles on a chart. Yeah. How much lighter did you think she was going to be with her shoes off? Is she wearing steel boots to the gym? <laughs> exactly. And it's body fat percentage for my height. Oh, yeah. She asked me height. And she circles it. It's, like, very high. I care if it reads that I'm obese. I know I'm not obese. And even still, if I was obese, it's not the right way to go about it. Gym opened up, like, down the road. And two of my friends... Okay. So, bear with me. I'll just go to the next one and this is where she cries about it it's down here so bear with me ah it's muted said do you know what this means and i was like i know and i was not rude at all i was like i'm very non-confrontational kind of voice low feeling a little panicked already um i was like i know that when i get these readings and i like get on my scale it says i'm overweight i was like but i know that I'm not overweight. Try not to cry. And um, she said, and then I like blurted out. I was like, I have big boobs. I have like curves. Um, and then I said I have implants, which I usually want to put out there because I don't want like the front desk or her talking to anyone or people knowing I have implants because I feel like. This is what really bothers me, like, Crystal, for the fucking love of God, everybody knows that your tits are fake, like, really? I don't think anyone looks at her boobs and goes, oh yeah, they're natural, because she's like, oh no, my boobs were big before, girl, they were not that big, okay, they were not that big, and I'm sorry, but no one's gonna look at you and go, Oh, yeah, they're natural. Like, are they fake or are they natural? Like, you can tell they're fucking bolt-ons. Like, we can all say they're bolt-on boobs. Stop it. Oh, my God. And then she's like, oh, you know, I don't want people talking about me. Does she really think she's that important that all these people are going to be like, oh, my God, look, she must be a skank. She has big boobs. Like, she's got implants. Like, Crystal, like, you're worried about people calling you a s Like, she's saying, that's what she's saying, like, that she's worried about them thinking she's this. But you've got no problems, like, you know being on OnlyFans and, you know, we know the colour of your taint for fuck's sake. Like, do you really think any of this matters? Like, do you really think that people haven't seen everything? Like, I don't think that the size of her boobs is what people are going to judge her on right now. You know what I mean? And no, I'm not saying anything wrong with OnlyFans, but don't sit there and be like, oh, I'm worried people are going to think I'm at this when you literally sell yourself to men on the internet. Like, I feel like that's where they're going to get that from before the fake boobs. You know what I mean? I mean, just one is bigger than her head. Yeah, it's, it's very... I mean, I've seen some terrible, gruesome, gruesome stuff from that Dr. Revy's. I don't know if he's, like, really old or, like, maybe there's... I don't know what the hell is going on there, but he is stuffing up women left, right and centre, and I'm just... 
I don't know how he's still in business. How has he not been sued or jailed? How? Like that one girl with the popped... Oh, my God. It hurts me thinking about it. Crystal, babe. A blind man could tell you have implants. I know. I know the metrics say that I'm overweight, but I know that I'm not overweight. Right? So, like, why are you even arguing with this woman? If you know you're not overweight, then fucking go about your day. But she goes out and she cries about it. And it's like, oh, I'm, not, I'm a non-confrontational pers- person. And then, like, yaps on about it for weeks and weeks. Like, mm-hmm. Like, that puts, like, another target on my back to, like, be called sweat or something. I don't know. So I blurted it out and she goes, well, that has nothing to do with the reading. Um, and then she said, do you know that, like, being overweight can cause problems in the future? She's like, do you want to have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes? And I was like, no, but I eat healthy and I work out every day. And she's like, okay, what do you want from me then? And I was like, nothing. They just told me that um, I could do this. Like, I need to do this when I sign up. She was like, okay, have a nice day then. Oh, what? Well, what do you expect this girl to do, though? <laughs> like, you've literally, she's been given a job. Why is she going to waste her time on someone that doesn't want the help? As opposed to people that actually want the help. Like, you go to the gym, and it's hard, sometimes it's hard to get into a PT, and they've got to do that thing, and... I wouldn't want to waste my time either. It'd be like, you know, when you have people that come in, I've done it myself, this is what I was going to say before, and I got off track. I've done it myself where, you know, I'm just like into the snacks and I work out and I'm like, I don't know why I'm losing weight. It couldn't possibly be the liter of fucking ice cream that you ate after dinner last night, Mandy, could it? It couldn't possibly be that. Like, so obviously these people get frustrated because they're like, well, you know, unless you have a medical condition, like, most of the time it is calories in versus calories out. Like I know we all say, oh, but there's different calories, different foods. It still works out that way. If you're working out what's going in, your input versus your output, you can still lose that weight unless you have a medical diagnosis. And that's why this woman has asked her, like, do you have a medical issue at all? She said no. And she's like, okay, well, what do you want from me then? And Crystal's like, well, you know, they've told me and we know like what Crystal's side is versus what, you know, what she actually portrays and what actually happens. Um, but she's like, oh, well, you know, they just told me I had to do this. And the lady was like, well, have a, nice, have a nice day. And, like, one of the other issues she has was, like, she said something or someone said to this girl, like, oh, I like your nails. And she's like, oh, you do? And apparently that's rude. Like, instead of a saying, like, apparently you've got to say, oh, thank you, you know, thanks. Like, you've got to validate that other person for giving you a compliment. Like... Some people just take compliments differently. I'm like that. I'm awkward as fuck when people are like, oh, because even on this page, you know, people will say nice stuff to me like, oh, you're pretty. And I'm like, oh, and I don't know how to take it because I'm not one of those people that like fishes for compliments like that. So it kind of makes me feel awkward if I post something and then people say nice things and I'm like, oh, oh my God, that wasn't meant to be like, you know, an attention thing. And I, you know, I don't know. But I just feel like she just blew this way out of proportion. Would you come at somebody like that who was bigger? Like, you didn't ask how many kids I have. You didn't ask if I've had kids. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to me. And now I'm in a situation where, like, if she did talk or try to play it off, like, I was rude. Or, and she knows I have implants. And if they're talking at the front desk, I just, it just, as somebody who was extremely non confrontational, it's not okay. And then to find out she's the freaking general manager of that place, like, I was already so nervous because everyone there and their photos look so fit. And I was, like, excited, too, because it seems influencer-based. And I was like, maybe this will help me reach my goal. Um, influencer-based? What do you mean, influencer-based? What does that mean? Do you have, like, influencer gyms over there? Like, I've been watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and it's, like, they're talking about, like, influencer influencer houses and I'm like what the fuck is that I feel like that's something that would happen with like crystal I'd be like oh let's get a house together we're gonna be an influencer house I can see that happening but like what do you mean an influencer based gym people go to the gym they work out and then they're done like is it because people are like taking videos of themselves working out that all of a sudden it's an influencer based <laughs> what and maybe I'll do personal training there because my personal trainer got kicked out of my old gym and it's like to go from being extremely underweight and starving myself to have the self-confidence that I do now. I probably sound so freaking stupid crying right now. You really should. She's literally like 
hyperventilating because the machine told her that she is in the overweight range. Like, not even that far in the overweight range, but she's that upset about it. <laughs> but to literally finally just come over that and to feel good in my body and happy and accept that I'm not overweight, even though these scales, like, say that. And so for this to happen, it's just... I walked over to my friend on the treadmill and I was like, I don't, I don't feel safe here. I don't feel happy. I was like, I'm trying not to cry. And she's like, all right, let's get Archer. Let's leave. I don't think it's right. You don't know anything about people. Maybe in your assessment, you should get to know them. Maybe if they've had a kid recently, if they've ever struggled with something with their weight or a mental health condition before you start saying like, do you want to have X, Y, Z because you were overweight? It's not fun. I don't know, but. So, I don't know. She really frustrates me there. Just listen to this last part again. I think I, I just missed what she said there kid recently if they've ever struggled with something with their weight or a mental can i just mention this girl does not know that you're a whack job crystal she doesn't know that what's going through your head like obviously all the rest of us like we see the the behavior that she displays I'm like oh my god crystal's going off in the comments again this girl didn't come into work and go oh i'm gonna pick a fight with her because she looks like a sensitive bitch and she has fake boobs that's not what went down. The girl was trying to do a job. And I understand, like, people are like, oh, BMI doesn't mean anything. I kind of feel sorry for her. Like, at the end of the day, it is not the personal trainer's fault. Like, it's not their fault that she feels this way about herself. Like, it's just a reading on a scale. At the end of the day, it's her job just to let her know that, hey, your reading as being overweight, like, or in the overweight range, you know, because that's what it says. Like, how, why is she supposed to tiptoe around her? I just don't understand that. I don't think it's right. You don't know anything about people. Maybe in your assessment, you should get to know them. Maybe if they've had a kid recently, if they've ever struggled with something with their weight or a mental health condition before you start saying, like, do you want to have X, Y, Z because you were overweight? It's not fun. I don't know. But she said... Anyway, so I don't, like, they're not therapists. They do not do mental health evaluations. Right. He got the text before he was off work and went, damn it. What, what did I miss? Can you imagine the version of this that Christian got? Oh, I know. It would be, uh, I wonder if Christian goes to this gym. Because that would kind of suck for him to be like, oh, your girlfriend's that annoying one that, you know, airs all her shit out. Um, it's, and it's weird too like someone else on here made a comment and they're like you know she needs validation but she's crying about someone that someone said she she said the other week that she doesn't need validation um, and now she's like crying about the fact that someone's told her she's overweight it's not like this girl went up to him and was like you're fat like you're fat you need to lose weight this girl is just reading your fucking results that they read to everyone do you know what I mean and I, like, like I said, I feel like she was just trying to fish for comp. I thought she'd have someone go, oh my God, you look so good. Like, look at your body. You look amazing. And that didn't happen because like, um, and then listen to this. So this is the one that was got posted yesterday and it's the exact, exactly what I thought is what went down. Uh... I look like such a hot mess today, but I want to clarify a few things. One, yes, like I'm half upset that she just said i was overweight when i've came so far to accept that i'm never going to fit into these guidelines of being not overweight for my body type like it's just not gonna work and that's why i got a scale that goes above and beyond to show me more than just a number or body fat like it shows me my muscle and my water weight and my bone like so Yes, half of it is that to be in that situation with my anxiety so high but she not once like even came back to say like i agree scales aren't always black or white or um you look amazing after four kids or you've already been working out for a year like that's amazing you look so good and you have a baby like there was nothing there was no human emotion like connected to it it's just like looking at me like i'm stupid and when she was like so when she was like, what do you want from me? And then said, okay, have a nice day. That was, it felt like, 
you're an idiot. You're overweight and you're not accepting of it. Like, you're that's exactly what she's saying because that's what it said. It said you're overweight, you're not accepting of it. Like, what do you, like, she goes, what do you want from me? And she's like, oh, well, I just had to do this test that they told me how to do this. And she's like, all right, we'll have a good day. Like, you know, no point wasting any more time on fucking Crystal. What is the point? She thinks she's right. No matter what, you know, I don't know. You refuse to acknowledge that you have a problem and you're dumb. You are dismissed. Like, in my mind, that... Yeah, in your mind, that's how it went down. But that's not actually what the girl said. The girl said to you, what would you like from me? Like, why are you seeing me? What do you want to get out of this? And she was like, well, basically, she's saying nothing. Like, she's like, well, I, because I had to come and see you. And she's like, okay, well, have a nice day. <laughs> what, do you, what did you want from her exactly? What, like, what did you want from her, Crystal? That's how I read it. And I was like, oh, like, the situation alone, like anxiety so freaking high. So yes, that. And then my implants. I'm not ashamed of my implants. It's not that. My boobs have always been large. And when I got depressed this past year, I gained some weight. And a lot of it went to my boobs. So they're even larger than what they were. Thank you. Mm, okay. So she's just admitted, when I got depressed, I gained some weight. So she knows that she has gained some weight. She knows that... She could probably, you know, lose a couple of kilos and she would be back in that healthy range. Like she knew, you know, she was fine before. If you know that it's depression and it's this and that, like go and get your depression sorted out and then maybe you can get back on track with that. But I mean, oh my God. Thank you, Archer. Thanks for the light, bud. That being said, strangers don't know if they're real or fake because they kind of look real and that was the whole point when i got my implants is i wanted them to be a little saggy and look natural and just i was always used to having big boobs and when they're natural you don't care there's not that judgment you can't control how big your natural boobs are all right guys i am going to cut this podcast right here and we'll return for part two in the meantime i'll catch you guys on the page at twt 5.0 bye